Hey there Doodle Gang, Doodle here, and today I wanted to make a quick, uh, hopefully this won't be like another 20 minute rant video, about my predictions for chapter 30. And of course, if you read the thumbnail, if you're here to, you know, be mean, jerk button, comment going, Doodle, what's wrong with you? Like, why don't you think Predator, uh, Pre yeah, Predator is going to be the next chapter? Why don't you think that's going to happen? And, of course, my dear beloved friend, new friend, if you're new here, I'm subscribed. That would be amazing. But, I don't think Predator is going to be the next chapter. Due to the fact that we've been having a bit of a sci-fi streak. Now, that honestly could be the other way around. We might just get Predator due to the fact we've been getting a lot of sci-fi stuff this year. By around the end of the year, since Skull Merchant came out. Basically, Skull Merchant, I think she's definitely a more of a sci-fi not really much as singularity but in her own way definitely a bit more sci-fi so we've been getting a bit of a streak of sci-fi chapters and of course you have skull merchant the singularity to alien three in a row with no breaks and not gonna lie i'm kind of i'm kind of exhausted <laughs> and of course not everybody will be but you know at the same time everyone's gonna have their own opinions about what they want in the game and of course i'm not saying that i don't want predator in the game at all i'm just saying i would rather wait for predator to come out later down the road but hey if behavior wants to give two double bangs because of course alien and predator are in the same license hold so it's totally understandable if they're gonna do a banger after a banger but at the same time i just i don't know it's not it's not really, like, it's not radiating to me. I really just don't want Predator right now. And I know for the fact I'm not really going to get Predator because I haven't even got Alien because at the same time, I'm just like, you know, I don't see much in getting Alien myself. And, and seeing with other YouTube videos and stuff discussing about Alien's performance, Alien really didn't do good on bringing back players into Dead by Daylight, which is super sad to see that way. And if I can, I will try to pull out a video that I've seen before talking about it. I have to go look back and see because I remember them talking about that. Even when Singularity came out, like players were booming. It was in the green and stuff like that on Steam. But with Alien coming out, it didn't really do it that well. And you know, that sometimes happens. But I feel like Alien was like a... It was a success, but it kind of just got swept under the rug because you rarely see any aliens. And of course for me, I ha I did not play Dead by Daylight the opening week of Alien because I was an exhausted and unmotivated person. But at the same time, <laughs> I now I'm playing it and I've only come across one alien and that's pretty sad. And of course you would get like the usuals, like Weskers and like you guys get Weskers, I don't get Weskers. Like, I only get like Huntresses and knights and stuff like that. I don't know how, like, you you guys know the um, behavior posted about the top killers pick rate and stuff like that, and Alien was the top pick rate. That's, I feel like that's a lie, because I have not seen any Alien, plus you're giving us an, a character, a killer that just came out, so of course their pick rate is going to be really high, but you know, at the same time, Huntress is number two, and I love my main, I love my baby G, but she's such a house to go against. <laughs> But regardless, for the chapter with chapter 30, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was going to be, you know, what the main discussions are currently, like Slenderman, Pennywise, Springtrap, uh, who else out there? Candyman, like, you know, the base, the, the, you know, already known stuff that we think. But I do want to say, don't keep your hopes too high. I, you know, as I said back in the seventh anniversary rant video, and I was talking about aliens probably going to be the next chapter. And if not, if it's going to be original, still keep still keep the hype because you don't know what's going to happen. And plus, you know what the chapter is going on. We're at chapter thirty. You kind of need to lower your expectations just a little bit because it's really hard to put new stuff in the game when you have so many characters as it is. Plus, when you're already at chapter thirty. 30 which is honestly insane you're gonna have some duplicates of course cuff cuff knight and skull merchant but i i you know i can't really say much due to the fact that skull merchant has been reworked and i have not seen any 
footage of it. I kind of want to keep myself blind from that because I do want to play it myself and like I need to go reread the patch notes because I kind of forget what's been changed. But, you know, at the same time, I don't know if I should be comparing that anymore. So if it's not like that anymore, if Skull Merchant and Night are very different now, you can go yell at me in the comments. Just boost my video. Boost this video. Comment how much of a big stupid dummy I am. <laughs> Yet, at the same time, just don't keep your hopes too high. But, you know, keep the, keep the hype. Because, like, if it's going to be Predator, then that's, that's pretty cool. They did a banger on a banger. But if it's going to be something as, you know, Springtrap or Candyman, I really hope the hype is still up there. Because I know a lot of people don't want FNAF. But I feel like we're kind of at that point where we just want FNAF. But I know people in the community kind of just don't want FNAF in there. But I'm a big FNAF rooter, so I really hope FNAF gets in, gets in the game. And, you know, other killers as well, like Pennywise and Slenderman and Candyman, like, that's definitely a big yes bring them in the game and that's what kind of comes down to the fact of like who it is going to be because it's going to be a paragraph since they did say that we're going to be getting big licenses and pretty sure this is definitely going to be the last license of the year and honestly i i know it's probably not going to be but if it's going to be an original chapter you guys better not be you know <laughs> sticking behaviors butt with a stick <laughs> being mad about it because there, I mean there could be a possible chance that it could be an original but it's a very slim chance so don't be like doodle you're insane for even mentioning that I am insane I'm just giving my opinions and ranting out a non-scripted video I'm just thinking what comes at the top of my head as the Jake Goober I am I have simple needs for this game and I really do not care what comes in because I feel like all my dream stuff has already been put into the game. I think the only other thing I would definitely love in this game is a biohazard chapter. Resident Evil Biohazard. And that's about it for me. And possibly a Nemesis rework. But you know that's just me man. I don't think Nemesis really needs a big rework. But I mean his power needs something else. That's just me. But I know that's never going to happen. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know just... Keep in mind that stuff could be different. It couldn't be. I mean, it probably won't be Predator. I mean, it could be. It probably won't be. It's like a 50-50 chance. It's like a 50-50, dude. Because since, you know, Alien and Predator, again, are, you know, with the same license holders, it could be, you know, possible that you got one, get the other, and Behavior would probably do a double-double. But maybe they would want to save Predator for later down the road, like they did with Nemesis and Wesker, like a year apart. But I don't feel like it would be a year apart. But, you know, I feel like this is going to be our last license of the year, if it's going to be a last one. Because we've been getting a lot of different stuff this year, of course. Nicolas Cage and an alien. But I'm, I'm just hoping that we actually, you know, might get something that will boost the game more. I mean, it's kind of hard, it's like, kind of hard to, like, ask for that. Because, like I said in the beginning, Alien kind of just, like, just didn't bring a lot of people in. And, of course, I don't know about Nicolas Cage's scenario, but I just no one ever plays Nick. I barely see him as it is. <laughs> so, you know, it's just whatever at this point. But, hey, if it's going to be Predator, that's awesome. But if it's going to be, like, Slenderman or Pennywise, I mean, like, if it's for the paragraph, definitely Slenderman and Candyman could fit those rosters, as a lot of other people said. Because I know you, you've seen these videos a hundred million times, and you already know what I'm going to talk about. You already know that Candyman could be possible, because he could work out for a single chapter. And Slenderman, of course, not having anybody to go survivor alongside him, could work that way as well. And as other people like Pennywise, I feel like that would be a little bit, you know, just not really up there, because you definitely need one of the one of the kiddos, you know, the grown adults of the loser gang to join in. And it would kind of be really sad if that didn't happen. And of course, like, I, you know, with likeness, like, um, face likeness, you know, like with Ripley and stuff like that, that could also happen to a thing that, you know, they can't get the celebrity's likeness and stuff like that. But it, it you know, costs more big monies for behavior, but uh, just Pennywise would be definitely a little bit off the table. Springtrap definitely on the table due to the fact that he doesn't really have somebody it, i mean everyone's like hey michael but at the same time as you know looking at everyone else's opinions michael really wouldn't work due to the fact that 
just like I don't know if you want to put the movie Michael in there and then it confuses people with the game Michael and it's just like you know I mean if you want to do like a FNAF movie chapter on its own then sure but probably you know just do spring chap because you just do spring chap alone that'll be totally fine but I honestly would prefer a map as well because Dead by Daylight with a FNAF map would be so awesome <laughs> Like, for real, and if Springtrap could get, you know, different skins as well, I'm hoping to God for a Bonnie and a Foxy one would be pretty cool, but that's just the inner FNAF fanboy talking here. <laughs> and, and Slenderman, like I said, Slenderman, Petty, Slenderman, Candyman, and Springtrap would work pretty well. Predator, sure, throw them in there. I'm... I'm not much of a Predator person. I don't know a lot about Predator. I haven't seen Predator in such a long time. I feel like that's really the only, like, sci-fi horror I just have not put my time into the watch. And I have watched Alien, but it's been a long freaking time since I watched Alien, so I can't really give my opinions on that. But so with stuff with, like, Slenderman, and Pennywise, and FNAF, and Candyman, I I've watched them. And, yeah. <laughs> If you were expecting a more, like, detailed explanation, then, uh, you came to the wrong place. I'm just giving what's on my mind. And, of course, if you did enjoy this little rant about what I think would come into the game and what I don't think would happen, I appreciate you sticking around. And if you could, leave a like, subscribe, comment what you think that might happen, and hopefully when I post this video, uh, the next chapter has not been leaked because I already know it's going to be, and... God, I, I, I need to, like, stop being on Twitter near, like, launch dates and, like, PTBs and stuff because I just get myself spoiled. Even though I, I, I should be blaming myself because I follow tweet and everything and my page gets full of dead by daily content, especially on my, on my Twitter, which you should be following. It's doodle by dial light, D-Y light. You get to catch me ramble and post stupid drawings sometimes. <laughs> We just greatly appreciate it if you do follow it. You get updates on the channel and whatnot and whatever I'm going to do in that matter. And as well, it just helps me stay with the community and engage with you guys because you guys are really awesome. And I do appreciate you sticking around even though I've been sucking at trying to get better videos out. Because I've been like, I, I'm not really great when it comes with ideas, especially like YouTube name ideas. It's just been a little bit hard, but you know, I it just... Again, as I said in the last video, I'm throwing whatever will stick to the wall at this point. And hopefully by next video, I will be coming out with a sweet little, probably very long <laughs> essay on, on a nostalgic horror game that I really do enjoy. I haven't decided which I wanted to do yet. I am deciding between Until Dawn and I think maybe Dead Rising 2, but it's going to take me a while to get recordings for Dead Rising 2. And I do have recordings for Until Dawn. I just need to, like, get a little bit further into the game and get more recordings. Because I thought I had some old ones, but I don't. But there's also ones that I already do have recordings for, like, I mean, Biohazard or even, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the top of my head. Minecraft. <laughs> I clearly have Minecraft recordings for no reason. For just funny background stuff. But regardless, I hope you have a fantastic day day in the fog and i'll see you in the next trial whenever that will be has anyone else been seeing the funny fanites of freddy's and chuck e cheese nonsense i am honestly so surprised like they haven't been sued yet for how much of the likeness they've been taking from the franchise <laughs> I don't know if it's just because Scott just does just wants to leave it alone or something like that, but oh my god, Chuck E. Cheese has went from banning anybody who talks about FNAF on their Twitter to just making Five Nights of Fun. <laughs> and my god. It's so funny to watch and see all the updates come about. I wonder how that's going to turn out, because it's only till what? The 16th, I believe. I do not remember, but... <laughs> I'm curious how that's going to um, branch out, but there's a little bit of funny FNAF news for you if you're interested, but uh, <laughs> I'll see you goopers later, and of course there's like four more minutes of this gameplay, so I'll let you see how this um, trial ends, and of course, again, if you're new here, subscribe, it would mean the world to me, comment what you think, and any recommendations or so on and so forth, you guys are awesome, 
And I've been trying to think about if I should start streaming on Twitch again. Sorry, <laughs> I know I'm rambling a lot, but I feel like I probably will start streaming eventually on Twitch again. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm comfortable doing it on YouTube, but um, I think I will probably start to get back to Twitch when I feel more confident on that. Because Twitch is a little bit harder than YouTube, but don't worry. I'll, I'll try to stream again when I can. You guys are awesome. Love you very much. I'll see you goopers later. Bye-bye. Ah! <laughs> 